Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome, welcome. This is Vlogmas Round 3, whoop whoop, day 6, still vlogging, still, my heart is still pumping, and my spirit is still moving, so I'm grateful. I just finished work, so it's Monday, December 6th, just finished work. I'm currently going to Manila Grill, which is a Filipino restaurant here in the Bahamas, and I love Filipino food now. Ever since I had it, I'm hooked. So, me and my friends are here now trying to get some good food. Obviously, I'm going to take you guys with me. Just so you know, Filipino food slaps. Now, let's play a game. When it comes to my top three favorite cuisines, definitely Korean. Korean food is amazing. Mexican and I would say Indian have my heart. But Filipino is like a top four, top five. Like, I'm going to just show you all the food slaps. And I'm going to get some boba tea because that's my new thing now, y'all. I didn't think I liked boba tea until I had the right boba. Now, my boba tea slaps. So, <laughs> welcome to Vlogmas. If you're new here, my name is Ree. I did not introduce myself. I apologize for my excitement. Just jumping you right in. Also, y'all, we hit... 800 subscribers today which is crazy so i'm hollering like i'm just excited i'm in a great mood definitely hit that subscribe if you're watching this and you've not subscribed i'm just like in awe and i'm just so grateful for the fam that is growing and blossoming and doing what we need to do in this year if no one else got anything in 2021 it's us it's us watching this and it's me <laughs> so yeah i'm just in a super good mood but yeah let's get on with our day slash night Good, good stuff. See, Corin. <laughs> Guys, this is the infamous Corin. Look at her. Hi, 65. <laughs> Look at the back of you. Look at the back of you. You guys didn't get this. My birthday. Aged. <laughs> I love it. So if you remember the last vlog, um, Papa had an incident on my bed and I seeped through the mattress. So uh, it's still a little dumb, but I need to sleep on it. I left it for two days, but I think I put too much baking soda on this part because it's definitely lighted. It's like I lightened the mattress by mistake, but what could you do? But I did a quick sniff test and it doesn't smell like urine. So that's all that matters. Um, you like to apologize, right? Apo Girl, I don't play with you. You gotta come apologize. So I'm sorry. She just flanked. Wow. Be a better version of yourself. Stop, don't rape me. I'm glad y'all could see that my dog don't rape me. I'm going to make my bed and lay in it. So this has been a really productive and exciting night in my life on a Monday. So I will see you guys tomorrow when I head into work. Oh, little town of Good morning. On my way to work, eating a PB and J in my car, thinking about life. <laughs> I swear to God, it just won over five minutes, and I just was thinking, it's very good. Okay, let's get to work. A few moments later. So my brother, in the Christmas festive spirit, is feeding me the coffee today. 
So I'm currently outside Lewis and Stan's, uh, the Rubis location, Watson Road, waiting for some coffee. Mm -hmm. But it's raining, so I'm trying to figure out who do I think I am. I'm about to move my car to get closer to the rain, but let me show y'all because right now I just a pretty nice little spry. Bahamian word of the day spry means light rain. See you now. She's so pretty. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to recap with you guys. All I love my little girl food. We got the Silly Sling Seasick again, and the I don't want to mispronounce it because I don't. I don't want to mispronounce the people food, but the Lupiang, which is like their egg roll. So good. Uh, we had two of those and I had no complaints. And then we had shrimp fried rice. So it's just like yummy, yummy, yummy. When we go back, we're going to try like different things again, like the pansy and like different stuff. But Manila Grill, try it. If you have a Filipino restaurant around you, I highly encourage you to give it a try because the cuisine slaps. But Let's get some coffee and get started with our work day. Y'all, I got wet. <laughs> I'm trying to get back in the car because I couldn't find any parking closer to it. So I had to make a run for my car. Got wet, but I got coffee. So, balance. <laughs> Let's try it. The I got French vanilla with oat milk. My favorite is the Tira Masu Latte with oat milk. I have had 11 of those. Those are very good. But this is the French vanilla with oat milk. Still really good. <laughs> Ever since the plant-based person was like... Oh, I'm getting slapping for the lattes and oat milk is the new thing. I have been so grateful for this transition. Oat milk just tastes really so much better and like coffee drinks. It tastes like it belongs. It tastes like belonging. It honestly does. Oh, let's get to work. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't do it this morning I was working <laughs> I couldn't do it I forgot to set up my camera and stuff so but it's actually lunchtime it's 1 I am on my way to lunch I was hungry so I got subway I have I realize it now like I can't skip lunch especially on my gym days because I don't work out well with no food in my system I need at least something in my system, especially for like evening workouts when I'm tired. I need like food to get through. And tonight is boot camp and I think spin. So I'm trying to eat. So let me go to Subway. But I apologize. I didn't even show you guys. But yeah, I worked after the coffee. I got a good chunk of work done. Now I'm back in the car. But here we are. What I wanted to talk to y'all about? Oh, I wanted to talk to y'all because... I had such a hard time getting out of bed this morning. I legitimately thought something was wrong. I felt an unnecessary weight over my body. And my body was like crying for more sleep. Like crying for rest. I normally get up no later than 6.30. And this one I didn't get up to like 7.30, 7.45. And I like wanted to get up 6.30 to walk Peppa. Because I've been trying to walk Peppa more. Or carry her outside more. Just so she could burn off some energy while I'm not there, while I'm there with her. But y'all, I think the more I've been working out, the more my body is requiring me to rest. And it don't really match. <laughs> like I didn't think having an active gym lifestyle would require balance, but it does. This is what they don't tell you. The girls who working out in these gyms sleep well. <laughs> they go to bed and i didn't know that until i started like really feeling these workouts and these weights on my body and my muscles are strained constantly and this morning i was like genuinely i felt a hold over my body that said you must rest you cannot get up girl it's done like oh but I got up eventually because I had to work, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. Like, I had to sleep an extra hour and didn't let it get a pop on a walk. I've been trying to get.
get that energy of that dog peppa is an energetic dog you guys can see that she's a very energetic puppy so i've been trying to find ways to like play with her more and stuff so i thought walks would help but i gotta get up and be the walker that's the struggle part is to assist with that but other than that i'm just happy i actually took two days off from the gym sunday and monday which is great because I plan on working out Tuesday to Saturday. So it seems like I'm on a six-day fitness schedule, which really works for me. I really enjoy taking Sunday and Monday off. I feel very energized and I'm ready to get back into the gym. So that's good. But first off, let's eat because I really want to go back to work because gym life starts this evening and I need to get back into it. But just checking in with you guys, blogging it up. But yeah hope everyone's day is going well if you're watching this i hope you have a swell day and leave a comment and let me know if your day was actually swell because i want to know it wasn't good it was swell i want to know that just got my subway eat fresh that's not sponsored <laughs> that's so funny and i like to eat my subway hot i also got a soup that i keep on spilling and i'm not gonna have no spills in this car I keep on spilling my soup anyway i got a soup combo with a meatball sub I'm trying to eat subway on the days where i need something quick and healthy so i researched it in terms of the top 10 healthiest subway sandwiches and meatball was like number six or seven so i'll get i'll take it i think the worst one well i was actually my favorite foot long is i mean my favorite subway sandwich is the english my favorite subway sandwich is the italian bmt but that is full of fat so apparently this the meatball girl is actually healthier than the bmt so i've been trying to switch to the meatball and work my way up to what I really should be doing a veggie delight. So I'm trying to work my way up there, but somehow I got stuck on meatball. Progress. But anyway, I'm about to kill this right now. I also need to buy a tripod because my tripod broke, which I can show you. My tripod broke, sat on it, big butt problems. Hey. <laughs> I sat on my tripod and now I need a new one and I love that tripod, so I might just buy that. Or I've been looking at another tripod that I liked as well. But I need to go on Amazon and buy my tripod so that I can get it by hopefully next week. Even though that'll be mid vlogmas. So for now, just bear with me. Um, let me see if I can set you guys up on the other side. And then we'll eat this subway. This look good. This looks good. on camera there is a significant difference between a subway sandwich that has been transported and the subway sandwich that has been devoured straight out of the processing line straight out of the checkout i am noticing a strong difference it's less soggy it's more delicious it's more hot let's all make a conscious effort to eat our subway sandwiches as soon as we get them out checkout because there's a strong difference. You cannot Uber Eats Subway. Like, who raised us to be animals? Like, that has to be... A sandwich cannot be soggy. So soggy sandwiches do not live here. So, in order for us to get the crispness of our sandwich, because that meatball sub was delicious. Provolone. Nice and chewy and, like, still has the little stretchy string. Toasted. My meatball sub was hot. It was hot. It just makes a difference. It makes a difference. Sometimes you have to treat yourself better. And that, that involves like eating a Subway sandwich as soon as you get it. I'm just saying what I say. It involves it. I I know this sweet tea I got from Subway is going to be too sweet. I know it. It always is. I'm just going to try it for y'all. But, ooh, excuse me. Let the record show that as I break this straw like Ice Hulk, that um, Subway really, that sweet tea is really be too sweet though. That and Popeye's. Oh my god. At least at one these I could take unsweetened iced tea. I can't get the straw. Look what I tear. I tear this up. The strength of Hulk. This is delicious. Come on now. 
Yes, they let Grammy, who have the diabetes, do the sugar this time. And she said, I don't need all that sugar. Mm. Oh, this is so good today. Yes, this tastes healthy. When the iced tea has an appropriate amount of sugar, it's a blessing. Today is a great day. I'm calling it. Let's get back to work because I want to I eat my soup. <laughs> to begin could be the curves on your body but then could be your hair maybe your skin yeah <laughs> baby girl i'm trying to get with you come let me see what we get into it don't even gotta be physical as long as that pretty face visible yeah <laughs> morning movement morning movement is the best movement something about going to the gym in the morning you automatically feel like your life is together for the rest of the day so i really love that for me because there are times where i feel like my life falling apart so yeah let's go to work and i brought lunch so yay it lunch is leftovers from last night so the same singapore noodles it was a lot so we have some leftovers but yay I'm happy today. I don't know why. I'm just, I woke up happy. <laughs> there are still nice people in the world because your girl was short. I did not know the exact price with that tax of how much a corned beef and grits was. <laughs> and it was six. 55 and I only have 625 in my car in terms of cash because it's cash it's cash only so the lady said she could let me 30 cents glory shout out to all the people out there who just nice for free I oh good people still out there you just gotta find them I love that come on 30 cents sure thank you
We had a daiquiri shot. Life for real tea. Mm -hmm. Got the daiquiris. Mm -hmm. Mango. Yum. random purchase this is our random purchase of december i got an air fryer it was like 57 dollars at this um local i'd say like everything shop we have there called cbs but they mainly do hardware stores and stuff but they had an air fryer for 50 dollars, and i never had an air fryer before and i've been watching all these tiktok recipes about air fryer salmon and brussels sprouts and it got to me it got to me. I have an air fryer. Yes! And this one is really good because I feel like it's good if you're starting off because it doesn't have a huge um, capacity. It's really good for like one to two servings. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. Air fryer under 100. Can't beat it. So yeah, y'all. Get ready for some really nice air fryer recipes. I'm so excited. This is the most random gift that I gave myself. You got crackers. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, I'm not opening it now, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I just got an air fryer. Super random. But, yay! Life for EAT. Logmas. Hey, y'all. What is up? So, we are starting this Vlogmas <laughs> really super late. It's 5 p.m. I'm going to explain myself, though. Today... It's just not the best day. I didn't wake up feeling the best. So I work from home. And when I work from home, I work in my bed mostly. So I just was in my bed, in my PJs, just um, working. In the morning, I was able to edit, finish editing that vlog that I was trying to do from last night. I didn't get a chance to finish all of it last night. It was a lot of vlog footage. So I was just looking at a computer all day. Y'all didn't really miss anything. It was just legitimately until i woke up around like 7 30 to 5 i've been looking at computers so i'm actually excited to go to the gym today because i feel like i need a break from computers that i need to move my body who am i i'm growing i'm growing hi this is rena and i've had tremendous growth <laughs> since i went to the gym so before i actually go in there and work out i just want to speak my truth y'all sometimes this whole side hustle youtube thing is a slight struggle because like just for last night as an example i was supposed to watch christmas movies with kino and all about chocolate and do our thing do our christmas tradition and i legitimately was editing until 11 30 last night so i started editing probably i was legit editing for three hours and i still wasn't done and i was debating like okay should I put all this pressure on myself? Should I just, um, as the video is um, uploading to YouTube, I wanted to post it today. Should I post it today and then spend another night editing so I can get something up on Saturday for you guys? Because Saturday is a no miss day. I have to upload something on Saturday. And I just was in the car and in my mind and talking to God, stressing myself out. And I'm just like, you're not going to do this to the point where you're burnt out or to the point where your relationships are not our weekend if you get me i i i value quality time quality time is one of my biggest love languages so and i value quality time that is like uninterrupted so i don't call it as quality time if both of us are sitting together and we're on our phone quality time is me and you enjoying the present type of thing and i didn't get a chance to do that yesterday with kino so <laughs> i want to do it tonight which means that i might need to breathe take tonight off which is I mean, it's life. Like, at the end of the day, priorities, priorities. Um, I want to take the night off, enjoy Christmas, enjoy my relationships, enjoy my dog. And, um, yeah, I just want to relax and enjoy Christmas movies. Which means that I might be a little behind on editing or behind on uploads. Or I might just have to scrunch together. Maybe do a Saturday and Sunday upload or switch it up for you guys. But at the end of the day, I need to do what's best for me. And... 
I can still show up for you guys. I can still edit, upload, post, comment. I can still do all those things for you guys and be the best YouTube version of myself. I can be um, while still protecting my actual personal relationships with the people who I care about and I love. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I was battling. It was a mental battle. I was like, Rena, if you spend one more night editing into the midnights trying to do a bunch of stuff, like calm down, breathe, watch a Christmas movie, and enjoy the fact that, hey, it's Vlogmas Day 9. Yikes. Like legitimately, there are a few days left up till Christmas. Girl, can you buy the gifts? Like legitimately, can I please just get it together? And sometimes you just need to talk to yourself like that. I don't think it's nothing wrong with talking to yourself, to be honest. And it doesn't have to be anything where you're going crazy. <laughs> it could just be something where you're actually sitting down, breathing, and relaxing. And actually letting out what's in your head. Because I'm a person. I got a lot of things going on. And I always have something going on in my head. Kino says there's a strong chance. And I think it's a strong chance too. I potentially have ADHD. Because I be zoning out. But it's important to breathe. Sit there. Pause. And dump it all out in a safe environment so that you can come to a strong conclusion so i am rumbling on but i hope that was a productive talk sorry that there wasn't much vlogmas day nine footage i'm about to go in the gym try to sweat it out i think i might do trx again trx was fun that was a little moment that's a little bop i think i might do it again it's either trx or spin see that's the thing with my gym membership trx is the same time as spin so it's honestly like girl you have to pick a side i did spin yesterday quads are burning so i might just do trx again because trx is body weight exercises kill me so we'll see what i get into but i do hope you guys as you guys are watching this you are having the best day that you could possibly have and please spend time with your loved ones and your family because really that's what christmas is about other than spending time with the one above and about christ it's also about um family time above all so yeah look at me being wise. <laughs> Bye. I'm sorry, but you stuck with me, Faye. I promise it's gonna be why you're patient. When you see me in the stress, looking scrumptious. Take a sniff, honey, guess what my scent is. Did you re reserve the table? Shit, let's get going. But when I get you on. Gigi, you guys know Gigi. Duh! New car. Hi, KB. Ah. New car. Smell like it. Take it in the gas, <laughs> man. We may not get. Y'all are funny. Okay, be going in the hoopty. So I know what it looks like. It looks like we're out. And you're right. Uh, me and Kino was hungry. So here we are at Taj Mahal. Getting food. Guys wanted to end this vlogmas here anyway we want to thank you guys so much for watching this is vlogmas round three crazy stuff vlogmas round three we did it thank y'all so much for watching uh be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you've been loving vlogmas leave a comment down below what your favorite part was and as always we'll see you guys in the next one we appreciate you <laughs> we value you yay we bad <laughs> bye y'all we can see y'all
Happy holidays.